If Allah loves you, you will gain two things. One, if Allah loves you, subhanahu wa ta'ala, كما في صحيح البخاري ومسلم من حديث أبا هريرة If Allah loves you Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will call Jibreel alayhi salam When Allah will call Jibreel and Allah will say to Jibreel إني أحب عبدي فلانا I love my servant so and so Therefore you must love him as well Subhanallah It's beautiful You know Every time I mention this hadith, and I do mention it a lot, I, you know, every single hair of my body stands up. You know, I get goosebumps. Because I can, I can, subhanallah, imagine if there's an important person in your country. The most important person calls you for invitation. Or calls someone who has a lot of power on your behalf. And then that important person mentions you. Whether it's the queen, whether it's the president, whether it's Trump, whatever who he is. I hope Trump will never call you. Say, I mean, Ya Rabbi. That's a scary moment. But somebody that is important calls you. I guarantee you, you will feel so honored. And I guarantee you, you will share that with everybody that you know. If Sheikh Mufti Mink says, brother, come, take a picture with me on the podium. Wallahi, you will send it to everyone. You will send it to the people in Pakistan who don't even know Mufti Mink. I think, I'm sure they do. You will send it to the village in Somalia and say, Mufti Mink took pictures with me. You know, because he's a person of significance. You feel proud, you feel important. But imagine if Allah calls Jibreel and He says to Jibreel, Oh Jibreel, my servant so and so, I love him and I want you to love him too. I want you to love him too. You know, Jibreel would not object. Jibreel, because he's an angel, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, لا يعصون الله they don't disobey Allah. They will love you immediately. But I want you to remember, to imagine the status of this. And it did happen to one of the Sahaba. In Sahih al-Bukhari, wa Muslim in Hadith Anas bin Malik, Messenger of Allah, after the Salah, he turned to the Sahaba and he said to them, to Ubayy bin Ka'b, Ya Ubayy, إن الله أمرني أن أقرأ علي يا أي قل يا أيها الكافرون. I'm sorry. لم يكن الذين كفروا من أهل التفسير البينة. أن أبي بن كعب رضي الله عنه cannot imagine him being a simple human being. Him being nothing. He's nothing but a mercy of Allah. He accepted Islam through the mercy of Allah. He became a Hafid through the mercy of Allah. He became a companion of Rasulullah through the mercy of Allah. Yet, Allah said to his messenger, Go and recite Surah al bayyinah to Ubayya bin Ka'b. And Ubayya could not process that. So he said to the messenger of Allah, Ya Rasulullah, wa sammanillahu lak. O messenger of Allah, Allah named me by, the name, by my name. Did he just say, read it to everybody, recite to everybody? Or did he say, no, recite to Ubayya bin Ka'b? He said, no, Allah said, recite to Ubayya bin Ka'b. Ubayya bin Ka'b started tearing and crying. In Sunan al-Tirmidhi, he could not believe the messenger of Allah. فقال, Allahu amarak, by Allah, Allah order you to do this? He said yes, and he could not carry the conversation after that. The second thing that you will gain if Allah loves you, you will not be touched by Jahannam. Nasallallahu say we ask Allah to make us among those whom He loves. Say Amin. In fil mustadrak al hakim, the messenger of Allah said, "Wallahi la yulqi Allahu habibahu fi nar." By Allah, Allah will not throw the ones that He loves them 
into Jahannam. So if Allah loves you, Jahannam will never touch you.